It could take the bear zords, and it, it, could, it took the giraffe zord. Probably took a few other zords that I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was a very powerful foe to contend with with the Wild Force Megazord. And when it joined up with the Wild Force Megazord, I imagine the, they were probably thinking, God damn, I'm finally glad he's on our side. <sighs> and that's my number two. Now before we go to number one, I have to make an honorable mention for worst Megazord ever. Can I say that? Worst Megazord ever? Go ahead. The Turbo Megazord. Really? It was the least, it was, yeah, it was the least intimidating one of the bunch. It was just a bunch of cars running around, just crashing into stuff, like a demolition derby on, like, steroids and kid juice. If you want to talk about least intimidating Megazords, the RPM Megazord looked freaking retarded. It, it just looked up like a totem pole of shit. <laughs> well, come, well, you know, this is my top, this is uh, my worst Megazord, my least intimidating Megazord. You know, well, I guess you mentioned your worst Megazord right now, so we don't have to get to yours. <laughs> but to me, the Turbo Megazord was just the least intimidating thing, especially the guard on its face. Like, what is this, hockey? Are you, are you, are you, are you umpiring at a ball game? This is ridiculous. You shouldn't have that on your face. Ugh. That is the worst Megazord of all time. <laughs> all right. My number one Megazord goes to a Megazord without prowess or fear. This thing probably tore apart these Power Rangers Megazords, a new one, several times. I am talking about the Triceramax Megazord from Dino Thunder. As you already know, this thing was taken away using the Stegaz Stegazord and the Dragon Zord. It was a dragon sword, right? The white dragon sword, yeah. Right, white dragon sword. And uh, this thing really uh, beat the crap out of the Thundersaurus Megazord. I mean, the White Ranger was one bad motherfucker by himself. He really didn't need help in uh, beating the shit out of the Dino Thunder Mega or the Dino Thunder. Uh, Power Rangers, but when you give him a Megazord, a Megazord, this guy is just fucking terrifying. Terrifying. <laughs> it just, I honestly thought the Power Rangers would lose that at that point when he got that Megazord. I honestly thought he was, they were going to lose. But, since the Stegazord broke free of the spell he put under it, he was able to, uh, they were able to get that back, and everything was hunky-dory when he joined the team later on. But, I still think that the Dino Stegazord is the most intimidating one I've seen. Alright, there you go, Ninja Shadow Tales, our top five Megazords each. I just realized I said the <laughs> Dino Stegazord instead of Stegazord Dino. Thing. I think I mentioned it wrong the first time around. Dino fuck Stega thing. Whatever. Who <laughs> fucking cares? It's terrifying. <laughs> Alright, moving on to our next discussion topic, and it's brought to us by Ninja Shadow Tales once again. <laughs> Ninja Shadow Tales. You fucking love to torture us, well, don't you? <laughs> And he wants to know what we think is the stupidest looking monster we've seen in all of Tokusatsu. Can I, can I go? Oh, can I go? I'll fine, go first. I, I, have, I have a specific one, I know. I love Kamen Rider Double. It's, it's an amazing series. But <laughs> second episode, the T-Rex still punt when it was like just before it transformed into the full T-Rex. It was just a fucking T-Rex head with arms and legs. <laughs> how, how, how the fuck are you supposed to take that seriously? Even if it was like running towards me, I don't think I would be able to like take it seriously. I think I would just fall down to the ground and start laughing my ass off, and that would be my that would be the reason I would get eaten. <laughs> he died. For, well, I mean, it was stupid before, but when it like turned into that like freaking makeshift. Build your own T-Rex, but just ahead. CG T-Rex. <laughs> That's terrifying! 
Jurassic Park, it was not. <laughs> Are we talking about Jurassic Park 1 or the second one? The good one. <laughs> <laughs> so the second one, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to say that. Oh, I had to say that. Oh, just, just to get a laugh. Oh. All right, that that was my short and sweet, straight to the point. Your your turn. Any Teleby monster. <laughs> Teleby magazine is promotes helps promote common run. We all know that. But every once in a while, they like to do a little special. And the Teleby monsters they think of are the dumbest looking things I've seen on the planet. One memorable one is the is in decade. He, he's um. He had to do his, uh, he had to go in his, uh, ultimate form and summon all the common Riders from the past ten years in order to defeat a television monster. <laughs> a television monster that had TB on its face. So you know it's Teleby Magazine supporting this monster. They support terrorism. <laughs> I'm George W. Bush, and Telepy Magazine supports terrorism. Wait, no, terrorism. <laughs> that is the, those, the, any of those, those are the dumbest looking monsters I've seen. I think that was our shortest one so far. <laughs> yep. Alright, moving on to our next topic, brought to us by... Test Center 89. And Test Center wants to know, like, are fan henshin devices and, like, fan core medals, like, maybe metal combos? I, I don't have an idea for, like, medals, but I just thought of, like, a stupid little henshin device in my head. Like, it's. It's. It would be, like, based off of Kamen Rider O's being on the combo system, but instead of having medals, like, the. Tension device would be a slot machine, like a mini slot machine. You pull the lever, and the little wheels turn, and whatever you get, you be, it's that combo. Like turn, like turn it, you get like maybe I don't know, Taka, uh, <clears throat> like Taka, uh, Turtle, and Cheetah maybe. Or and like every time you get like a jackpot, you get a complete combo, like. Like getting. So I guess three Takas, <clears throat> he's stuck with uh, three head medals. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be interesting. <laughs> see, like. I'd love to see how that works. Like, coming right your Taka. <laughs> or, if, like, if you get, like, the three. Then you get 24 common Riders, man! <laughs> get the three. Get the three core medals, like, Taka Kujaku Condor. Dash other do. But, yeah, something similar to that. And. Like I said, I don't have any ideas for, like, core metals. <laughs> you know what, fuck it. Just have, uh, Koala, Kangaroo, and fucking Tasmanian Devil. They're a marsupial com combo. <laughs> Alright. My engine device is a bit of a... It wouldn't be for O's. At least not yet. Uh, this one is for a different common iron in total. It would be a microphone... <clears throat> And you basically scream henshin into it, and then you're surrounded by musical notes. And then you turn into uh, Kamen Rider, like, music note, whatever the f I don't know the name. Wait, you remember the name, right, Nathan? Uh, didn't you say, like, Kamen Rider Sonar? Sonar, yeah, let's go with Kamen Rider Sonar. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, Kamen Rider Sonar. Now, for O's... I've actually thought of uh, a beta testing, a, a beta test belt, a delta test belt, and a final product. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the beta test one would be a henshin belt that takes cell me Yeah, I know. Sounds like fucking protocol, right? But this one would be very specific. <clears throat> you know how all the cell metals have their own little caricature on it? Yep. Scorpion, Taka... Grab. 
Well, when you put that specific cell metal in there and you spin the belt, that's the belt head, it'll read <clears throat> the uh, faceplate of that specific coin. And whether it's for a body, a head, or legs will be determined by what the, what the core metal might be. <clears throat> so if you get a crab metal inserted into the belt, close the belt, and then spin it, there won't be a little song. It'll just be um, the person with the crab uh, ornaments on his body. Or, or, or if you want to go for um, uh, Whiplash in Iron Man, you could take the Nagi metal and put it in there, and then rip it one. Rip, actually, no, you know what? Let's add a ripcord in there. <laughs> Just a, no, it has to be mechanical. It, you know, it's gonna be hard to start up. Yeah. Anywho, the Delta Test one would be with two metals: a body, one specifically for the body, one specifically for the legs. Same concept. You put a talk of Tor metal and a Shia metal in there, you get super fast and you get the super claws. And the final product would be the same thing, except it would look like Tatoba. How? Like you put a Taka cell, Tora cell, and a Bata cell in there. It'll look like Tat. It'll look like Common Rider uh, Tatoba, except it'll be silver. It'll just be silver. No distinguished features or anything, just silver. How scary would that be? <laughs> An army of Tatobas coming at you. Now the only thing is, cell metals are not core metals, are they? No. Nope. They only last a certain number of times. Or a certain length of time. We give it an hour or two hours. I would I would give it like they can only last for about two hours. Since cell metals are common, they could just swap them out for new ones. And in, ter in ter what do you think? I could see that. Like, instead of like having, like, it'd be kind of like birth, but instead of having like the armor, like the random armaments, you have like the different uh, abilities and weapons of the core metals. Yeah, except for a shorter period of time. Yeah. The only thing is with the Beta and the Delta, they could last for as long as they want because they don't run on that much kind of, on that much power. So I guess, well, I guess they could last about five or six hours at a time. But if you stop the device, the core metal, the the cell metal will disappear, just like that. Take it out, it's gone. Yeah. Can't be read. Now, in terms of combos, I've thought of a nocturnal combo. He's going to shudder at it, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> the head would be a bat. The body would be a panther. And the legs would be a tarantula. <laughs> yeah, oh. you like that, don't you? I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I, I hate spiders. <laughs> the head metal <clears throat> would, be, would be specifically for sonar attacks. The body metal would have claws and super strength. Also, he could be stealthy in the dark. Like, it's basically a... I guess you could call it a camouflage system. Since panthers... you Specifically black panthers, they can blend into the darkness pretty well. And Tarantula would shoot venom out of his legs. or His, his legs would have fangs in there. Kind of like a touch of those. And... Uh, well, his legs could morph into spider legs and then do that. And, uh, that's it for mine. I'm sorry, but the idea of, like, those with spider legs freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> it's ironic, because my favorite superhero is Spider-Man, but anyway. <laughs> you wouldn't want, to, you'd want his powers, but you can't take being bit by a spider. I don't even want to look at a fucking spider. It's <laughs> Put a spider on screen right now! No! Yes! That's the power of being the editor. Now, anyway. <laughs> oh, I just thought of another combo. Like, a uh, marine mammal. Dolphin. Uh, dolphin. Whale. Uh, fucking manatee. 